New at 5 o'clock today, we're getting our first look at the Spring Creek fire burn scar. Since the disaster four years ago, 141 homes were destroyed near the Werfano Castilla line. That blaze burned more than 100,000 acres at La Vida Pass. Cardio News Channel 13 Scott Harrison shows us how the area is now recovering. On Friday, we took a two and a half hour drive to the west side of La Vida Pass because we were invited to take a VIP tour of the Spring Creek Fire burn scar. You can see the recovery from the devastating wildfire. Experts are examining what still needs to be done to prevent or reduce the seriousness of any future fires. Friday's burn scar tour was organized by the Spanish Peaks Alliance for Wildfire Protection, a group that formed after the Spring Creek Fire. A group of local leaders toured Forbes Park, the hardest hit area. It's where hundreds of landowners live and where more than 130 homes burned down. The fire wasn't the only threat. At the time, flash flooding and erosion also were in play. They critically determined like where some of the erosion was coming from, so that's why we can see where not all of the trees have been removed. And they took those trees, they laid them horizontal with the slope to kind of just stop the water coming down. And then they also did some chipping up of some of the tree debris, so just putting mulch on the slope. This masticator machine shredded many of those burned trees. Authorities say that aspen trees are coming back the strongest, and native grasses are thriving since the fire burned away sagebrush in Forbes Park. The fire also damaged some Forest Service land, and the service says it's pleased with the rate of recovery so far. Since the soil is now absorbing water, those hydrophobic conditions have dissipated. Um, as far as stream flow goes, um, we still are seeing some increased stream flows, and we've probably reached 70 to 80 percent back to normal. Coming up at 6, we'll explain how the devastating fire here changed the lives of homeowners and landowners for better and for worse. In Castilla County, Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.